Hey guys, so uh, we are almost ready. Uh, that's the most awkward moment of every single webinar I host. Uh, to wait for you to confirm that you can hear me well. So please let me know. Okay, so please, please confirm that you can hear me and I will kick off. Hey Mario, thanks for joining us today. I can see the number of viewers dropped a bit. <laughs> it should mean Dobsha, right? Okay guys, so hello everybody. That's the first uh, episode of Home Page Roast series. I hope to, to turn it into a series of webinars when uh, where I will show you how I optimize pages using Surfer. So the main goal of this webinar is to show my process, my approach to optimizing websites using Surfer. Uh, and yeah, uh, it will be split into two sections, let's say. In the first section, um, I will analyze three pages uh, that I prepared myself a bit to, to those analysis to show you the best insights I, I have. So thank you all for sending your pages to the analysis. I had to pick three, so uh, the, the way I picked them, uh, they just had to, to rank in the top 50 because this way they have chances to rank higher. That was the first thing. And the second thing is that I found some cool, really cool insights on those pages. So you probably uh, can um, have the same mistakes on the pages. So thanks for confirmation that you can hear me well. And I guess we can start with the first page. Um, it's an affiliate keyword. It's best smart light switch. Thanks for this keyword. It is pretty cool. So yeah, let's let's kick off. So the essential part of every single analysis is to prepare the environment. And by that, I mean excluding all the pages that are high authority and all the pages that are ranking high, not because of uh, their own page optimization, that is top notch, but because of their high authority. So I always start with turning off the averages and switching from words to the searchability for the domain. We provide uh, the estimated traffic for uh, for the domains, and maybe it's not the most accurate on the market, but it's good enough to find those pages that are really high authority, that are represented by those high peaks on the chart. So I will start with excluding them, and you will see how the the chart changes. So we have a few to go. But it's really worth, uh, you know, going through the whole process since it, it is just really, really, really important and crucial. Okay, let's exclude. Hmm. Tiny technical issue, I guess. What's going on in here? Let me refresh. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for that. Maybe I will fetch the query again. Seems like a tiny glitch. I will analyze it again in the United States market with the NLP turned on. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, of course I checked it before and it was working. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's what usually happens when you go online, when you go live and some stuff uh, is, is, is going the wrong direction. That's uh, that's a Murphy's law, right? So yeah, we are almost done. Just 30 seconds delay. It's cool. Almost there. Looks like one of those pages uh, loads a bit slower, and we have to wait for it. Just a few more seconds, guys. 
I could go with uh, second keyword, uh, but um, they are kind of ordered with um, the complexity of the analysis, so I would like to keep the author. Okay, let's do it again. So, averages and visibility, visibility, and I will start excluding the space. What the hell is going on in here? It shouldn't be there. <laughs> yeah. It just had to happen, right? I will start with excluding those big brands. And it seems to be excluded already. Guys from the tech team, what the hell did you just do? I will make it fresh now. Yeah, yeah, I'm live. I'm live, that's true. So let's see again. <laughs> what the hell doubled result on MSN? Okay, got it. Amazon. Sorry guys for that. I don't know what happened. Well, I'm truly live. You can see that I'm live. Okay, that's, that's enough. That's enough, I guess. Because as you can see here, we have still a few really high authority pages with three millions of organic traffic. So I will keep excluding them from this guide as well. And this page as well. And now we are left with one, two, three, four, five pages that are pretty low like authority so we can uh, assume that they are I'm using a microphone, I'm pretty sure I am. Let me check the settings. Um, audio. Hmm. It's weird because the microphone is a default one that I always use. It's a default Mac. God dang, what the hell? What the hell is going on? So when I when I did a test today in the morning, it was all good. I have no clue. I have no clue what is going on. Sorry guys for that, really sorry. Uh, maybe it's it's not an issue on my on my side. Like but yeah. I see a few of you. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure that it's fine. Guys, can you please confirm it's okay now? Like at, at the moment? Yeah, because we have a few people telling that it's okay and the other half uh, says that it's it's alright. I can see that the, the microphone is fetched properly. And I use the same microphone as usual, so... Okay, guys, so... Okay, I, I, will, I will continue. I will continue uh, as it is, because I cannot do anything about that at the moment. I checked the settings and everything seems to be fine. It's fine, okay. Huh, what can I do now? Hmm. Yeah, so it's really weird. Like half of you still saying it's fine, the other half is okay, I, I will maybe uh lower this setting and try to speak a bit a bit louder. Hmm. Right, one second. Can you hear me well now? Let's that's the last that, that's the last check. I checked something. 
and if that was it then I'm stupid please tell me it, that it is okay now okay I, I will continue because I cannot do anything about about it right now so let's focus on this example okay I will I will just continue okay guys so the environment is prepared the envi environment is prepared we are ready to <laughs> okay guys so you know what did I do I had the uh, Bluetooth uh, headset in my backpack turned on that was lying three meters from me sorry guys I'm really she <laughs> does oh god yeah sorry guys okay uh, to the point to the point all right so we have the environment prepared and when I when I have it I just uh, find my client and just analyze it right let's this page yeah it's number 20 so let's start analyzing it I kick off with the audit and the audit tells me some basic information uh, so uh, we have the true density with the content gap uh, but before we start with the true density uh, let's take a look at the exact keyword and as you can see in here in this uh, place the best smart light switch is horribly over optimized so uh, the page is using much more exact keywords than the competition and if we uh, take a look at the details in audit we will see that only one page is using the exact six times while the others we took into the audit are using it zero times which means that I am first horribly over optimized for the exact and uh, we should probably focus on partial matching keywords since no one is using or almost no one is using exact matching keyword so let's scroll down a little bit to take a look at the partial keyword section which tells us that we are under optimized comparing to the number six and number eight probably i should exclude the number one as well which has uh, way more or traffic than the others it's five hundred thousand uh, comparing to the, to the others it's like 10 times more so I will exclude them as well and open the audit again okay number 20 and we have it so again exact keywords six times here's only one time I have 13 partial keywords I'm under optimized especially comparing to number six and number nine and by that I mean that uh, you always should be looking for the highest but uh, not penalized density while using your keywords in the content so in this situation I should place myself between 8.7 and 12.3 uh, so I'm under optimized and over optimized in the same uh, page for the same keyword so let's take a closer look on which partial keywords should be used more frequently so I will use the charts for that and show you the partial keywords number 20 I will highlight it on the chart so I can see okay I may be not that under optimized but let's take a closer look at specific keywords so the best keyword is not that important uh, the light the smart and the switch are much more important uh, terms uh, are much more meaningful to the content so let's take a look at the light I will check the density light density and in, in case of the light I'm just fine I'm on, on spot comparing to number six but if I check the smart ratio I'm way below the all top pages so uh, that shows me that I have to include much more uh, frequently the word smart and when it comes to switch it's exactly the same situation so I was over optimized for exacts and under optimized for all the query words or almost also smart and switch smart switch is uh, is the is the product right 
it's a smart switch and I am missing smart and I am missing switch quite a lot comparing to the others and uh, for this page the easiest takeaway we can have is that I should uh, de-optimize the exact keyword because I look spammy uh, comparing to the competitors and add a bit more switch switches and smarts that's pretty easy uh, task I would estimate this task for like 30 minutes of work and that should definitely help this page rank higher because we have competitors that we can overtake they are not that strong there is some place in the top 10 that we can place ourselves in but the problem is that we are over optimized we are spammy uh, using 13 times the best smart light switch so that's the problem for this page it should be decreased by at least by half and uh, specific uh, terms like switch and smart should be increased like I, we are using at this point 18 times while the best competitors are using 31 times so we should increase uh, the switches frequency as well as the smarts frequency we are using 16 times per thousand while they are using 24 38 so that's the that's the main takeaway that's really quick win because we just add here and there smart and switch and decrease uh, the number of exact keywords that that was easy that was the easiest example i had prepared for today so uh now we can uh move to the second example which is queenstown car rental uh the query is from uh, new zealand uh it's a different page type is uh is kind of a local business and uh, in this situation I will show you how you can pick uh, the right competitors to your uh, to your analysis based on the length and the authority so I will keep the word count and the search visibility for the domain at the same chart turning off the averages okay so at the first glance it doesn't make sense at all because we have really uh, unified uh, orange chart but when I start excluding those high authority pages like booking.com you will see what's going on just a few uh, a few moments I will exclude those guys and you will see really really cool feature just a few moments more I will exclude like those five the highest authority pages so uh, the chart will get more useful a few more like this three guys and it will be enough and maybe those two guys as well so the orange line is the uh, visibility the purple line is the length and now we see what's going on clearly so take a look the top five we have page number one with estimated traffic really low and the length really hard high uh, the second page higher authority short content higher authority short content again and higher authority and again short content while on the fifth place we see again very long content 6,000 words and much smaller authority of the page so what it tells us basically it tells us that page number one and number number five they make up they their lower authority with uh, a lot of content on the page so uh, our goal in this situation would be to compare just to them because they proved that their own page is right that they have a lot of quality content and they can make up smaller authority with this content so they are the best candidates uh, to base uh, our optimization on them so uh, to do it the quickest way I will again include all pages and exclude them all completely and manually add only page number one and page number five so that's our that those are our candidates to the analysis they have the best on page so now I can start comparing to them just to them because they have the best on page in this setup so I click audit as usual because audit is a quick uh, way to get those recommendations and 
the first thing I see is that I am lacking content. They have like two times longer articles, two times longer pieces of content. So uh, the, the natural way of optimizing this page is to increase the content length. But you may ask, uh, so what to write about? Should I write as usual? No. Uh, you go higher to the true density, sort those phrases by the action, and you get a list of missing phrases. So all of those with zeros in here, I will zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. They are all missing. Like, is there any car with the wide range? Do, do they have the speed limit? Uh, and so on. I, is it a car rental company? And so many, like the city center, like again, the speed limit, the terminal building, it's probably about where the, the company is placed. They are really interested uh, probably in uh, airports and so on. So uh, when I would be building another 2,000 words or 3,000 words of content, I would base the content on those missing terms and try to include as many as I can. So that's pretty easy task since I know what the goal, add 3,000 words to the page and which words I have to include in the page. So that's pretty easy task. It may be a bit time consuming, but uh, that's, that's what uh, the owner of this page has to do add more content and include as many of those missing terms as possible because they build a huge content gap. So uh, take away for uh, this audit, this really quick audit is to increase the word count and add as many of those missing terms. But you probably spot this tiny little uh, indicator with NLP badge and it means that uh, those are entities that are fetched uh, through Google NLP API because uh, with the NLP analysis, we uh, pass the competitor's content to the Google NLP API and uh, they give us back those ent entities that are meaningful to the content. So we are kind of using the same tools as Google is using to understand the content. So uh, those uh, with the NLP badge would be the most important terms to include within the content. So uh, what the owner should do, I will tell you that once again, increase the word count and include as many of those entities and as possible. And it will for sure uh, show the, uh, the, the, the rankings grow uh, in, a, in, a, in a short term, right after the uh, right after reindexing the page, it should grow. So that's that's what the owner should do. Uh, in this situation. And what I want you uh, to take away from this is that you can pick the right competitors based on uh, their domain authority or so-called um, authority based on the traffic and their length. If it correlates, uh, so the lower authority pages have more content and the higher authority pages have less content, then if you are uh, looking forward, if you are looking for the best competitors to optimize against, you just pick those with lower authority and a lot of content on page. That's that's the natural process you should uh, you should uh, uh, go with. Uh, if there is a situation like this, just follow those rules, and you will pick the best competitors you can because you always want to compare your site to pages that have the best content while you are doing on-page optimization. Okay, uh, now let's move to the third example. The third example is a bit more complex. It's actually it's the most complex example I'm showing you today. And it's a keyword about working from home in Canada. So uh, this keyword has a different intent than our you our uh, page is providing just take a look at the top four pages they are high authority pages with the search uh, they are just providing jobs to the people they, they are they are listings while uh, our page that we are trying to um, 
optimize is just about um, sharing uh, like the tips, the list of the best uh, words you can take on. It's kind of an affiliate list. Uh, it's content. It's a, it's pure content. While those are high authority with listings. So basically, uh, there is almost no one to take over because only this savvy new canadians.com is the similar type of content to uh to page that we were uh that we are analyzing right now they are just the same type of content right article with some tips with some uh jobs you can take on in in in, in today right so uh in this situation i would consider uh tackling at different keywords instead of trying to fight with at the savvy new Canadians just for one spot because those guys on the top are different intent they are like different type of content and it will be a waste of resources uh, to you know trying to overtake just this uh, one page the savvy new Canadians.com so uh, I would consider doing additional keyword research and building a roadmap for this page that will cover different smaller keywords uh, that are specifically about um, the best jobs uh, you can take on working from home in Canada. And instead of um, considering optimization as optimizing just for one, one high search volume keyword that is occupied by the uh, high authority pages, to building a set of subtopics that you can easy, easily tackle because they are less competitive. So to do so, uh, I move to the keyword research tool and start with the work from home Canada. And all of those terms you find in here, they have this SERP similarity, which means that there are pages that, are, that rank for both keywords, work, work from home and any of those that are listed here. And 30% means that the SERP uh, in the top 20 is 30% identical. I will zoom in a little bit again. So uh, when I am looking for uh, uh, this kind of affiliate uh, terms uh, that I can tackle that will be uh, easier to, uh, to take over, I'm looking for keywords that contain the best, that contain like, like this situation, Th this one is cool. High paying customer service jobs from home. It could be a subtopic, it could be just a heading and a few sentences below uh, what are the highest paying customer service jobs from home. And even if it's really small search volume, uh, stacking many of those keywords will eventually um, build a lot of traffic, uh, a lot of kind of buying traffic because those guys are, they, they already know what they are looking for. So uh, you can just uh, click here and uh, create another SERP, SERP analyzer. And thanks to uh, the situation that there is a SERP similarity, we will be probably competing with some similar pages. So uh, it won't the optimization for this keyword won't hurt us for the higher search volume keyword that we are trying to, to focus from the very, very beginning. And I found uh, this keyword really cool, best, best work from home jobs Canada, and I done the analysis already. Yeah, it's here. And as you can see in this situation, we have different type of results. There are no more lists, right? Of course, we have some high authority pages like Entrepreneur or Forbes, uh, or this uh, woman's day.com but we have a similar page on on the fourth position we have similar page on the sixth and seventh position this one actually overlap with uh, the other the previous keyword that we started with so there is much more space to page like mine to rank for this keyword and uh, actually uh, the maple Maple Money already ranks for this on the 26th position. So it's just a matter of a few tweaks. Since we rank already, it will be pretty easy to uh, reward a few sentences, include some terms that are missing. And this keyword will be much easier to take over than 
uh, the keyword that we started with. So um, what I want you to uh, get from this example is that um, some keywords are just not for you and targeting the wrong keyword will be like fighting with giants and it will never pay off. So instead of hiding, fighting for those really high, out high uh, search volume, highly competitive keywords, try to find some smaller keywords that you can stack and try to rank them um, as a group of keywords that have the similar intent and similar content. And you can do it with the keyword research tool that we have because it provides those similar keywords. So it will be a much better solution than fighting just for this one spot that is probably achievable for this, uh, for this, play, for this page. And what I would recommend to do to the owner is to find five, maybe 10 keywords like this one, best work from home jobs, maybe best work from home jobs Canada, and try to optimize from them. And the result should be uh, overall organic traffic growth uh, that is much better quality because the intent behind those keywords is the same as the intent that we are currently uh, that we currently have uh, on the page. So uh, I think uh, that's it for those three uh, pages uh, that I prepared. So we had the simple one with over and under optimization uh, on uh, in in one piece of content. Second example where you can wh where we can smartly uh, pick the competitors based on the authority and the content length to find out which ones are uh, the best content in the SERP. And the third one is about uh, slightly changing your roadmap and instead of fighting for a uh, really competitive keyword, trying to uh, acquire a set of keywords that have the same intent, that have the competitors that we can uh, really overtake. And now it's time from for uh, pages that you can share on, on the chat. Uh, I can analyze them. We have plenty of time left. So uh, it will be a true live analysis. So the first uh, first one will, will get audited. So please share uh, your pages and I will kick off right away. Eric, I would consider uh, I would consider uh, including those similar keywords in the same piece of content since uh, the the s similar keywords means that they have similar search results in SERP. So if there is a page that can rank for both keywords with the same piece co of content, then you can do it as well. So rather uh, stack those keywords within the same articles. Organic SEO services. Okay, cool. That's that's uh, that's a hard one. What's the the URL and what's the loca location? Yeah, sure. It will be available on YouTube. So, what's the location for organic SEO services? I guess it's USA, but just to confirm. Anyone else uh, willing to share the page? Okay, sure, I, I can find it 100%. Uh, that's probably part of the domain. Zach Geld, Zach Geld, what's the location? I guess it may be Netherlands, but I'm not sure. Martin, could you uh, confirm it's Netherlands? OK, 
okay I have this organic SEO so yeah it's not that okay I will start the analysis okay types of acoustic guitars that sounds cool guitar guitar I will go with the US uh, Okay, I think three is fine. Martin, please share the domain and I will kick off with the organic SEO uh, right now. Okay, number 13, 100% organic SEO. Uh, I will highlight, highlight it on the chart and take a look at first at the competition. We probably have some really high out oh, of course Wikipedia and in a moment it will start making more sense web effects of course those are high authority or strong with Okay, so now we are left with kind of smaller pages. It, this one is not that big, so we, we will keep it. Okay, so as usual, when I uh, finish the environment prepping, I'm running an audit because it's the easiest uh, thing I can do. Uh, it's the fastest takeaway, uh, checking the length. And yeah, you could have more, especially that uh, the guy number one is the highest authority left, so we have this uh, those two pages that are full of content, which is Digity Marketing and Two Dogs Design. We can even stick only to those two, since I I guess they are uh, full of quality content. So we can do the similar case as we had in the second example. So I will exclude all pages and include only uh, Digity Marketing and Two Dogs Design. And now I can compare to you. Uh, one hundred percent. Okay. So we clearly need some content. We need to uh, raise the uh, the word count. And is there any content gap? I think so. <laughs> Take a look. You are missing the search engines term. Uh, while organic SEO is over optimized. Again, SEO company missing. SEO services is highly under optimized, under opti missing. Link building is missing. Is it a part of organic SEO? Looks like it is, since the competitors is using this term. So it will be a good idea to uh, include uh, a section about the link building on your la landing page, probably. Uh, search results missing. Search engine uh, under optimized again. So uh, I can see quite a lot of. Uh, terms like keyword research barely uh, noticeable in here uh, web pages missing search rankings missing content strategy missing case studies strategies so on so on so on so uh, you have so big content gap on your page that um, 1000 words maybe not enough to include uh, all of those so I uh, consider uh, including as many of those uh, true density phrases that are missing as you can. They don't have to be optimized with the ranges. Start with just mentioning them and that will do a huge boost to your content. You are, you are missing so much uh, that it will boost your content for sure. I can even uh, paste uh, the audit. I can send you the audit later uh, so you can you know, start optimizing based on based on those recommendations I prepared. So uh, that's the easiest takeaway uh, and it will for sure uh, uh, bring you a lot of quality uh, quality content and the, the traffic will grow, I'm pretty sure, since we compared to those uh, two pages, number two and number four, that have the, the best, probably the most comprehensive content in the whole SERP. So uh, it's really a good idea to compare to Digity Marketing and Two Dogs Design. I'm pretty sure that digitymarketing.com is uh, 
page that is op optimized with Surfer to Docs design? I think so as well. So uh, those two guys are doing great job with the on-page SEO, uh, and clearly you can follow uh, what they do, and you will boost in rankings for sure. Uh, okay. Zach Geld Netherlands. I just need to find the uh, domain name from Martin. Martin Martin N N N L. Okay. N N N L. Okay, you are ranking number four, so uh, you are already a trendsetter uh, in the niche. Uh, I guess that you are high authority page already. I can include just the top four to make it quicker. Turn off the averages. Okay, 200,000, slow authority, higher authority, and a bit lower authority. Hmm. This rubber bank. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's quality content or not. Let's compare it with the length. Okay, those guys are definitely pushed with some black hat techniques since there is no content and no uh, visibility. So I'm excluding them for sure. They are not the not the best competitor to to compare with when it comes to on page analysis. Yeah, Rabobank is the uh, Rabobank. Take a look. They are high authority and low amount of content. So uh, we are left with just the page number one uh, to compare. So uh, page number one has uh, a bit higher authority, right? And the word count is really similar. It's it's almost the same, and they are probably doing good job with. Uh, with their uh, on page so and they have the snippet so I would just uh, run an audit just against them uh, we can we can even yeah we can we can run an audit so the length is similar we have uh, we have really really similar level of the length but let's take a look um, at those uh, phrases that are uh, missing okay or maybe we have some other issues so uh, just there I, I don't know uh, Dutch um, but this one is slightly over optimized this one is over optimized as well uh, it's probably a length of uh, of the loan or I don't know but uh, this one is over optimized um, let's take a look at the words because the Zach Geld is the most important word in this situation because it's our exact so take a look Zach Geld over optimized uh, Geld over optimized again. Uh, I don't know if uh, if those terms make any sense to you because I don't know Dutch, but I, I can see here quite a lot of red errors. Since I know only exact keyword, then uh, let's move to the charts and compare specific sections. So I will turn on this one, highlight it on the chart, or maybe not. It's not important. Okay, this is us. Uh, this is page number one. Let's compare the exact keyword density. They have higher density, right? So uh, we have to uh, match their level. Let's take a look where they use those exact keywords. Do they use them in paragraphs? Yes, they use it 19 times in paragraphs while you are using it 16 times. It's slightly lower. It's, it's just a fine tuning uh, since you are ranking already number four. So uh, just to fine tuning, uh, to like slightly increase the Zach Geld in the paragraph section. Maybe in above the fold, uh, we'll find something cool. So, okay, they have seven times above the fold. You have only four times above the fold. So it's a room for improvement. Let's check the headings, maybe H1. Okay, you both have one time in H1, that's fine. But let's take a look at supplementary headings. And looks like you are slightly over optimized in supplementary headings because you have five, they have four. So uh, I would consider reducing it by one in uh, headings from H2 to H6. Let's check the image alts. Yeah, they have ones, you have zero times. And uh, there is a cool story behind uh, those signals, uh, behind placing a keyword in, 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 in specific uh, elements of the page since it's, it's really important uh, 
to have something uh, in uh, in the place that is a ranking signal that have nothing and they have one image that have image alt including Zach Geld while you are missing it so uh, it can be quite strong uh, signal to the rankings if you uh, include this keyword in image alts let's check the title just to be sure okay you both have let's check the description okay you both have so uh, I would consider tweaking the Zach Geld uh, frequency and placement and it's just a fine-tuning you rank already number four so it's high then mm, it will be just a fine-tuning against the page with the featured snippet they are the best candidate to uh, compare with so uh, I would go this way just a fine-tuning okay let's move to yeah I have a typo types of acoustic guitar yes types of acoustic guitar okay analyzing it again and maybe you have something cool yeah you, everyone wants number one compare with number one in this situation it's clear that you should compare with uh, with the page number one they have snippet uh, they have uh, probably a bit better content, better optimized content, so uh, go for it. Uh, we are almost done with the types of acoustic guitar, so... Okay, Rafael, so quickly, uh, if a page is getting a lot of traffic, then I consider it, a, it as a high authority page. So Google is uh, passing through uh, a lot of organic traffic and it means that the page is probably a good quality yeah exactly Jordan if it gets ridiculous traffic if it gets ridiculous amount of backlinks it's a high authority page that's the easiest and the quickest method to recognize that so the thing is that um, you use this to figure out if the page is high because of content or it's high because of uh, the authority that's the crucial part of every single analysis if you do it right if you pick the right competitors of course there is tiny bit of a gut feeling or a common sense to uh, recognize those high authority domains and exclude them but if you can do it then uh, you will get the best results uh, so you uh, get those recommendations based on pages that are the, uh, the that they have the best content on this SERP in this SERP so now we can uh, roast <laughs> these types of acoustic guitar but I need the URL so uh, reach out owner um, and in the meantime I will check this Christian apparel but please share um, share the URL of the page that we uh, we are going to analyze yeah yeah if there is a small traffic and great content then it's the best candidate to compare to for sure um, acoustic guitar owner please reach out RT sports RT sports ha, probably it's RT sports <laughs> RT maybe sports no okay RT sports please share the URL and I will move to the Christian apparel please guys share uh, share the URL my, I know you cannot share the URLs but please share the domain name so I can find it Christian apparel guy with a Mario please share uh, <laughs> F call 99 what was the keyword guys that would be really really super helpful if you could provide okay 
I have a keyword broadband deals and I have the domain. Thank you so much, Cole. Uh, I can uh, do the analysis now. Thanks. Gotcha, gotcha, Tristan. Broadband deals. I'm analyzing UK domain. You save. Thanks. Uh, it will be ready in like thirty seconds. We have like ten minutes more, so uh, I'm pretty sure I can analyze a few pages more real quick. So I'm not doing that in depth analysis. I just want to show you how I usually um, do the analysis uh, for some clients for. Uh, you guys, I often uh, do some some personal work walkthroughs where uh, we analyze your domains together. Uh, so uh, that's uh, that's the process uh, I usually go with. So yeah. Yeah, we can analy analyze Brazilian keywords uh, for sure, uh, but please uh, put um, keyword location and domain name so it will be easier for me. Now we'll go with this you save. Yes, I got it, number 12. And let's see, as usual, I start with the visibility for the domains. And yeah, it's a really high spike. Money supermarket. They look like high authority page. Tech Raider again. You switch. I don't know this page, but it's three million, so definitely uh, not the same league. Um, okay, it's maybe be deep. Yeah, to exclude. And now we are left with some smaller pages that are kind of similar to what you have. Okay. They are fine. I will quickly check with the length. Yeah, they are similar similar length. So most of those pages have around between 2K and 4K uh, of content. like. Just take a look at this one. It's ridiculous amount of content, like 80,000 words on page. Who is it? I don't know, but it doesn't help, right? It doesn't help to have ridiculously amount of content. Um, users are not looking for it. Uh, same situation is here, Virgin Media. Uh, they have three times more content than the highest value in the top. So it's definitely not a good way to overwhelm people with uh, tons of words. So now we are ready to start analyzing. Uh, okay, we have a page uh, on the fifth and sixth position. They are kind of, mm, we can overtake them. This one as well, this one as well, C cable is off. So yeah, I will exclude, uh, myself since uh, I don't want to uh, you know uh, be a part of uh, the recommendations so let's take a look what do we need is this really long page now in the yeah virgin media I have to exclude them as well and we will be uh, good to go okay now it's leveled it's leveled this page is slightly shorter. I could consider excluding them from the analysis as well, uh, but not necessarily. Okay, some quick errors, over optimization by ton. Uh, I would place myself between this page and this page, so like 0 0.3, that would be a, a, a good idea to, s to, to reduce exact keywords. Uh, in terms of partials, you are within the range, almost perfect. It could be raised a little bit, but it's not bad. The rest looks good, uh, so we are fine in this case. Uh, let's take a look at the true density, what's going on in here. Uh, so, 
phone line this is cool uh, you use phone line only once while the competitors are using it between 5 and 13 times it's suggested range so you are missing quite a lot people are probably uh, looking for uh, getting this deal uh, on the phone while you do not provide it so uh, do we have any yeah broadband deals that's our exact matching keyword and it is over optimized like uh, this error uh, told us before so reduce the broadband deals increase uh, the phone lines increase the broadband speed uh, maybe the brand keyword virgin media is is not important but uh, is it 12 months it's probably a good idea to include if you don't know how they included this term you can click here and see okay uh, is a special offer 12 months everyone is mentioning it 90 percent of the results in the top 10 mention that the deal is 12 months so it's probably important to uh, do the same thing um, let's sort by the action now to see if we have any zeros yeah the 12 months 18 months is also missing so you're missing the time frame of the deal it's kind of uh, it may be really important uh, broadband service missing, speed, average speed missing, monthly price, post office missing. Uh, as you can see, there is quite a, a lot of terms that are missing, not only for the NLP entities, but for the others as well. So again, 18 months, so it's also missing. Uh, I'd say uh, that it will be a good idea to Mm, inject as many of those contextually relevant terms to your content as possible because um, you can find some keywords in this list as well it's pretty long list of uh, terms that your competitors are using but you are not so it will help not only with ranking for this specific keyword which is broadband deals but for all the others like maybe pay as you go model is not mentioned at all uh, again 24 months you are completely missing the time frames on the page and really sounds like something sounds like something that uh, just should be mentioned again mobile phone missing uh, some fiber services missing 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 a lot of terms missing as you can see it's full of zeros you have a lot of work to do uh, with the content with trying to include as many of those as possible and it will get give you great results yeah so Pamela if you are aware that they come from the comment section that's pretty much okay uh, you don't have to be that precise however user generated content is is a thing uh, there is a discussion there is a there is some content there are some keywords so um i don't have a clear statement on this but uh if they are uh if they sound relevant to the content use them no matter where they are placed on your competitors pages but if those are comments that are not really related to uh to the content you are writing uh then uh, just skip them uh sean uh which page the virgin media i guess the virgin media let's take a look no not really it's the faq section you see <laughs> it's the faq section so they have all the information for the people but as you can see it doesn't help them to run high maybe it's over optimized we can actually we can we can check the virgin media usage uh, that can be a good uh, a good example i will just take a look at the true density if they are over or under optimized Tch. okay virgin media doesn't matter but yeah even uh, they have so much content they are still over optimized for some keywords like fiber broadband uh, so 
uh, they have to reduce it uh, a lot, uh, a lot. So uh, even if the content is really long, uh, they are still over optimized for some terms. So um, yeah, pretty big. As you can see, pretty big content gap, uh, huge content gap. Uh, but they have so much content that is probably not relevant. They have a lot of content that is not relevant. So that can mm, be a, a, a handbrake for them. I, I thought that they will have really small content gap with that amount of content, but they are probably using not relevant words. Yeah, that's a good point from Jordan about uh, high relevance keywords. So it's a good idea to put them in uh, above the fault section. Uh, if you think that the keyword is really, uh, really, really important to the content, just put it, uh, put it first. That's a, that's a good practice. Okay, um, I think we are done with this one. Um, it's an hour uh, now, so I will just pick the last one and that will be it. Uh, so, okay, student apartment, Austin, Texas. I have, uh, the domain, I have the location, so we can, we can do it. Ferdy the lucky guy. And sorry guys again for the technical problems at the beginning. Uh, that, that was crazy, really. Uh, those headphones were lying, uh, in the backpack I didn't know they are turned on sorry again um, but yeah let's Brazil oh I'm sorry Rafael I forgot but we ran out of time so um, I can I can analyze it by myself later uh, just send me an email uh, m i c h i l at surfer com, and I will send you the audit and a few comments about it maybe I will record a short video for you Okay, okay, number 10, it's fine. And the higher authority pages in here, let's quickly take a look. I will exclude all and keep just the top 10. You can have different ways of excluding, including pages. I'm showing you just some different angles on that. Okay. One high authority Yelp, of course. Uh, apartment.com. Let's pick maybe to exclude. Okay. This one is not that big. Student.com. Hmm. I will exclude them. I will take a risk. Okay. The rest seems to be kind of uh, lower authority, so we can kick off the audit. Okay, apartment finder, really shallow content, number nine, excluding, and of course excluding myself. So what do we have in here? A bit shorter content than the others. There is a pretty strong correlation though uh, in, in the content length and the ranking, so it may be a good idea to, in to increase the, the content length. Let's take a look at the keywords. Of course, uh, no one is using our exact keyword with it because it is student apartments, Austin DX. So it's not the keyword that will appear in the content frequently, but Austin DX appear a lot in your competitors pages, but on your page appears only once. I'm not sure if the Los Angeles is, uh, is a thing in here, but, uh, it was fetched by the NLP. So uh, bedroom apartments missing. Uh, guys, basically this quick audit uh, is like reviewing the true density content gap. That's, uh, that's the best you can do to start the analysis. Uh, so uh, 
the content gap is pretty big though like the united states is missing um some locations other locations are missing but uh some true keywords like apartment rentals it's missing uh, like laundry facilities missing living space actually over optimized slightly but um, as you can see here some locations are missing uh university estates all the uh like you see the google pulled a lot of entities that are about specific places like ladybird lake maybe they offer apartments that are close to ladybird lake and it's a good idea to mention the late ladybird lake uh in the content <laughs> do they have swimming pool i'm not sure if students can afford for apartments with swimming pools but looks like uh, some competitors mention it so uh that's that's uh I don't know uh, the the real environment of those uh, entities in Austin. I'm not sure if they fit the best to you, but uh, you should use a bit of a common sense to find out and maybe exclude, uh, skip some uh, terms that are related to some different locations and just hunt pick uh, those terms that make sense to you. So, okay, guys. Um, I think we are done with uh, with the with the webinar. Uh, I'm really thankful for uh, joining me today. Sorry for the technical problems at the beginning. The next series will definitely uh, be better. We will start with reviewing uh, those three pages that we analyzed at the beginning. So uh, it, it that would be great if you if you guys uh, could implement some changes. I can help you with uh, with uh, those recommendations. Um, plus, uh, those three owners are the winners of the fifty percent rice queries uh, for the next month. So I will reach out on the email with uh, those recommendations and apply the the coupon to your uh, account. If you don't have one, then we will figure out something. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys again and looking forward to see you on the next webinar that will take place in a month from now. Uh, I will definitely let you know you're on the mailing list so uh, you can expect some emails from, from us uh, about the next uh, on page roast webinar. I hope you like it and yeah, see you soon. Cheers. <laughs>